Rock and roll. All right, plow on through. So I don't have to record myself walking back like this. What's up? They're all going to one. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Jesse Warden here. Once again at the George Washington National Forest, we're doing the St. Mary's Wilderness. It is 72 degrees. 72, yeah. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. It feels like it's 80. I love it. The water is six, six inches lower, maybe eight, maybe a foot. And everyone's trying not to get their feet wet. It's like, this is the perfect day to get your feet wet. And there's not. By the way, I'm with my homie, Bellic. Thank God I'm not alone. We didn't take Albus Man, which means we go three times as fast. I like to muck through. Muck through. Because it feels so good. So good. You got this twice on Sundays. Oh, yeah. What's up? <laughs> There's a guy up top who jumps from up there and all the way down to there. So normally they go up from there. Absolutely insane. So I'm thinking I can go from there and jump to there. Instead of just like going really high. It's not as high, but it's stupid because if you slip, you fall down on that. And that wouldn't be good. Especially this far away from emergency services. The water is so breathing. Ah. All right, so camp set up. I got my hammock between two 20-foot trees. Got my Eno house fly. I don't have the doors down. I don't need them. I got my Ridge Runner hammock set up. I had to fix my links because on the other side it's got rubber bands. And it doesn't fit quite right. I probably did it too tight so it breaks, but I got my sprawl and mounted the tarp to a stick over there. Tree with a toggle bolt there. Tree with a toggle bolt there. Tree with a toggle bolt over there. And then here, I managed to fix it with rubber bands. So it gives a little bit of stretch. When I sit in, it'll go out a little bit. And then this, I might have to adjust. I use some paracord, so I'll have to adjust that. But the undercoil is for 20 degrees. It's supposed to be 46, maybe 52 today. So we'll be good. Got some water going down. We're getting some firewood. We got a lot of pine, which is great. Uh, I'll have to baton it, but good news is I got, <laughs> I cheated. I brought tinder if I need it in the bag, so. And it's just super, super peaceful. We've got about two and a half hours of daylight left. Just absolutely beautiful here, man. Absolutely beautiful.
making two things. You basically take these petite red gourmet potatoes and you boil them with just garlic butter and garlic butter and a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. I like them small. You don't have to do them small, but I I like them in little itty bitty fourths or eighths. I'm an art student, not an engineer. I use math every day, but I don't know math. You just cut them in half, cut them in half, and then cut them in half one more time. That gives you the little pieces. Like this, too big. You split that one, it's better. Nice to do, mm -hmm. you know, with like a squat rack or something. That'd be nice. And I've got some really good ones, but mm -hmm. we gotta clean out storage first. Once we clean out storage, then we can um, take the darkroom equipment that she has in there, mm -hmm. and then put that in storage, and then I'll have room for like a lot of the camping stuff right now that's like in the living room that should be in the garage. Mm -hmm. I think if I do that, I can play with the walls. I'll actually have room for them on the new rack or new dumbbell stand. So I have two places to put dumbbells, of various sizes. Not the ho not the one. Oh yeah. By the way, this is uh, like the simple olive oil. The Brussels sprouts I always do by fourths. So just cut them once, and then cut them again. Now, some people like to cut off the bottom there. So you cut that off, put it in the fire. Add some butter. Right, I usually add salt, but I don't have any today. So we're just gonna do lemon pepper on this stuff. And then we're gonna add a little bit of water here halfway. The reason you add water is that these things will boil. You don't want to add too much because it, it kind of like makes this potato soup once it starts to evaporate the water, which is really good. So, let's close that up. Yeah.
They could be soft a little bit more, but still good. Oh yeah, perfect. So much garlic. No trip. All right, so what did we learn? So the hammock was at a 20 foot tree, but it was too tight. So I needed to raise it, then loosen it. I knew it was too tight because I couldn't sleep on my side. It was only like 57 at night, pretty warm. And the under quilt was backwards, but it still, still kept me warm. yet but that's a nice back of a sign you know what I'm saying